Good evening and welcome to the Electronic Revolution Broadcasting Network where tonight we head back into Cal and this is going to be 8v8 uh, playoffs here between K Thanks By and a massive unit here on Tunis Harbor. So I'm your host Anchor and tonight alongside of me will be none other than Corn Nut. What's up Corn? Hey what's up Anger? Well to be honest with you I have In-N-Out staring at me right in the face right now and I can't eat it. But that's okay. It's okay. Uh, on the video, the man, the myth, the legend, Lime. What's going on, Lime? Not much. Just looking forward to this match. Hopefully, it'll be a quick one. Well, we'll see how this goes. It should be pretty interesting. Uh, two teams coming in here doing nice in Cal. Uh, massive unit with the number one seed. Uh, K, thanks. Bye. I believe with the number five, and I have to look that up. I'm a little unprepared here because I just jumped right into the pilot seat here, and Cornette's helping me out. Um, right now, though, we're going to go over the starting rosters really quick here. So for uh, the pack side here, looks like K thinks Spy is going to be taking that side first. We're going to have Crazy Ace, Biggin. We have uh, Big Drabowski, Damn Clowns, Destructo, Better and Kamikaze Donut. And what do you got for Massive Unit over there, Cornut? For Massive Unit? Uh, you forgot one. One of your guys is on my side. Don't forget to mention him. Starts with an R. Just switched to your side. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry about that. He just switched. He caught me off the guard there. Radiment. Okay, cool. There you go. All right, we've got Ninja X2. Good old Willy Weed, Bandurin, MG, Chaos Ranger, Smoke, Jerusalem, or Silent, whatever, and Scottish. Yeah, Jera, just call him Jera, that's all good. All right, we're going to talk about the map in case some of you, uh, again, haven't watched 2142 and you guys are like COD people or Counter Strike Source, and you guys are just tuning in just to see what's going on with this game. We're going to show you a little display of the map. We're going to have the PAX side spawning in at Outer Docks and you're going to have the EU side spawning in at Living Quarters. The goal of these teams is to capture the two neutral flags in the middle there as you see Docks Office and also Bridge. Now what's good about this map also Cornet as you well know that the mains where they start out at can are capable and uh, what's going to happen here is we have a walker in this map and that's going to be f good to watch there for the walker pilots. And we also have a fast mover. So, so a fast mover being the uh, car itself. The commander will have his tools, the UAV, the uh, scan, the M-strike, uh, the arty, uh, supply drops, and whatnot. So all that will be at the commander's disposal. So we're, talk we're going to get this started here. It looks like both teams are roaring to go. So I'm talking a little fast in this so we can get this started. So again, this is for Cal playoffs here, semifinals between Massive Unit and K. Thanks, bye. Uh, Corna, if you can, just type it in, let them know that we are ready so they can go live on restart. Myself and Limek will be following the pack love inside. And uh, looks like we have a wrong GUID here. So hold on real quick, Corna. We might have a little issue here. Looks like Willie Weed is letting K. Thanks, bye know that there's a wrong GUID. So they're checking that out right now. All right, so we'll be following the pack side myself and Limek. We'll have uh, Corn Nut following massive unit on the EU side. Yeah, that is kind of odd if somebody put their player number in. It's being called. I'm sure they'll let it go. Massive unit. Yeah, they are. Play. Yeah, they were. There was a typo, I guess, with the goods, and sometimes uh, when they put the goods in, they may put like a number or letter ahead. You know, it's an accident. So. Um, it looks like it's okay, so Willie's really anal retentive about about this stuff, which he should be because he's been catching a lot of hackers lately, and uh, he's been a doing a good job for the community, so uh, catching people and, and giving him supporting with demos and whatnot. So, uh, you know, he's really anal retentive. He can't stand hackers. So. Hey, you know, this might be my first uh, Tuna Shoutcast on 8v8. I mean, I've I've done uh, infantry, but I'd, 
don't remember doing uh, armor. I know with infantry on this map, you know, sometimes some teams like to, uh, you know, kind of turtle up there between bridge and dock's office. But, you know, since there's armor and the fast movers, that's not going to happen. Plus, you know, I did happen to uh, come in a little early while Massimino was screaming who, and they definitely weren't wanting to turtle up. So I think Massimino is going to try to end this quick. Well, after scrimming with them, I know one strat they're going to use, which is, I, I mean, I've seen one other team use it before. Now, that's if they use it, so we'll see what happens. But um, we'll see how they come out. But it won't be on this side, actually. It'll be on the other side. But I won't say exactly what, of course. But uh, also, Grunt is letting me know that KTB is the fourth seed. So thank you, Grunt, for uh, relaying that back to me. And again, I do apologize for not having all that stuff ready, but I, again, I did come last minute. Um, I had to go pick up my rings, my wedding bands and stuff, so, you know, Sunday's the big day for me. So I'm committing suicide, as some people say. <laughs> yeah, well, congrats. It's not suicide. It's a good thing. Yeah, no doubt. Oh, my old lady heard it. <laughs> Especially if you got a good woman. But, of course, if yeah, she's no, right she's there listening, of course you're going to say you do. <laughs> yeah, she's uh, she's right here. She's just listening to me. She just trips out because I'm always casting. And, yeah, she doesn't realize that this is fun. But she wouldn't know. She don't play games, so. But it's all good. So I'm looking forward to going on the honeymoon to the Western Caribbean. I'll be pimping it out there with P. Diddy, Puff Daddy, and all them be out there in, in uh, Jamaica, and Cozumel, and laying up on the beach. Hopefully there's no hurricane. I'm sure you'll have a good time. Yeah, yeah right was, now... Uh, oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh, I was just going to say, you know, I was out at the beach all day today. Realized how out of shape I am after about, you know, three hours of running in the waves, you know, whatever. I mean three minutes of running fatty. <laughs> oh, Fat Sacks is here. What's up, Fat Sack? I snuck in. All right. Also, um, you can get a hold of me. Uh, Anger, O-N-E, the number five, the number six, the number two. You can X-Fire me. You can X-Fire Cornet. Go ahead, Corny. What's your corn? Uh, your Cornet. What's your uh, X-Fire? Well, it's Cornet, but... The way I like to get my shoutouts is I monitor IRC at pound E hyphen rev on the Game Surge Network. Thank you for plugging that. Also, you can get a hold of Daddy Fat Sacks. Fatty, give your long ass name there. You can give that X fire out. It's uh, D A D D Y P H A T S A X 23. Daddy Fat Sacks 23. All right, so you can get a hold of us there. But I really, to be really, really honest, I prefer that you guys uh, go to e-rev or pound-e-rev and uh, do the IRC thing because uh, probably in the probably by next cat we'll be no longer doing the X-Fire thing. We'll be doing nothing but off of the uh, IRC. So uh, hopefully you guys get in the habit of doing that. Yeah. Uh, also, when you send me. Shout outs, be sure to uh, message me. I'll be up there at the top. It'll be E Rev 2142 Corn Nut. Just that way, you know, you make sure I don't miss the, the shout out there in the actual chat room. Also, another thing, make sure uh, everybody out there, if you could, register at, in the, at the forums there at E Rev. Well, you're already there. Register at the forums. A lot of good information there. I was waiting for somebody to do that to tell them the website. Yeah. Also, too, if if I know a lot of players, and a lot of teams uh, play 2142 and also BF2, we will be casting BF2. So hold on to your g-strings, there, people. I know some people are getting a little ripped about that, but we will be covering some BF2 coming up. Uh, you got to re realize that we have one video guy. So if there's anybody out there that has the desire to be a video guy like Limic and be a part of this great casting organization then hit me up hit Limec up or hit just hit us up in the forums and let us know I mean we'll 
one of the key things is that you got to have a at least 900 uh, kilobytes on an upload speed or higher. If you don't, don't even bother because it won't even work. So just make sure you have those things. And actually, uh, Limic, uh, what's the other requirement? I mean, besides the upload speed, real quick, I don't know if you can hear me or not. Uh, I don't think you. Well, you need a second computer with a capture card that can capture the video and the audio from your gaming machine. And uh, a lot of technical uh, know how to, because uh, obviously. We're going to give you all the information you need to uh, be able to do it, but you can download Windows Media Encoder version 9 if you want to try it. It's from Microsoft and it's free. And you can try, you know, um, casting yourself playing, for example, and saving it to your hard drive and see how you do with video and uh, play with the settings. You can look at the properties of our streams and at the resolution and the bit rates and play with that and see how that goes and uh, obviously if we have to babysit you on every single little step of these kind of things well I guess it, we don't really uh, want to have to do that we want people to know what they're doing and enjoy doing it too yeah it's, uh, it's perfectly I mean we don't mind teaching but if we have to teach from the ground up nah, I'd rather not go through that I don't think Lyman would rather go through that so um, okay, it looks like they're yeah, getting everything. I can't, uh, I can't easily debug stuff remotely, especially when it comes with hardware and uh, which cables connected and what hole and whatever. Yep. So we're not discouraging, but you guys understand out there, if you guys want to do this, there's, there's a lot to it. So uh, you know, be ready for that in case you want to take that jump into Limex world. So you see what yeah. Limex can do. I was going to attempt it back in the day, but it, it is a pain. It's hard. And, you know, it's so much easier to just show up and talk and make Limec do all the work. No, he's really good at it, though. Like, he doesn't even use his keyboard. I think he uses a controller of some sort, and that's how he gets all those good angles and pans around people. You know, I can't do that. I'm all jumpy, and Limec's definitely good at what he does. Yep. Looks like they're you guys are good at what you do. Well, Aww, thank you, Lime. I guess we're scratching each other's back. You know what? Group hug. Fatty, get in here. Group hug, man. Pound, pound. Wow. <laughs> you, you, you scratch my back. I shave yours. Who just grabbed my back? Wow, Fatty. He's talking about your back again, bro. He's talking about shaving your back. The gayness of this channel is uh, overwhelming right now. <laughs> All right, enough of that, I guess. Of shaking each other's back. Here would make it really gay. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> all right. Uh, again, in case you just join us and you're wondering what the hell we're talking about, don't worry about it. It's all good. We're here for the uh, Cal 8v8 semifinal matchup between Massive Unit and K Thanks Buy here on Tunis Harbor, and it's brought to you by none other than Erev. So uh, we're bringing you the best That's 2142 us. matches. Uh, any uh, community news out there since we're just uh, waiting for everything here? Anybody? Anybody? I mean, uh, I know uh, a lot of people, some people got banned, I believe, from Elysium. Uh, a ton of them, actually. Well, I shouldn't say a ton, but I think practically the whole team, I think, if, if I'm not mistaken. You may correct me on that. Oh, there was a ton. What happened? Or oh, they, I guess, for all Harboring hackers. I've never seen that before. But. Well, actually, we have in BF2. There was a, a group called MIQ in Season 4. I remember they got all banned. But it's very rare that it happens. And we should ban Saudi Arabia, too. Public service announcement from Limec there. Why, what's going on in Saudi they Arabia? Are oh, are, are they? Terrorists. Well, we just have to take our TGL admins over there and just uh, lock them in. Well, you know, hackers and terrorists, same thing, though. No? I think Anger's a hacker. He just shot me in the face. It was pretty bad. Turn off your toggle, <laughs> Anger. All right, I looks like... I scar surprise, know. though, so... Are they getting everything situated? Have you uh, do the typing here on the... Uh, is everything situated? Yeah, it looks like... Uh, looks like uh, their KPD's down a man. Yeah, they're going to have to... Uh, well, I know it's a GUI man, check. It's like... Yeah, 
Yeah, MU called, called uh, Ketang Spy on the one GUID. There was two GUIDs that didn't match. One was a typo, the other one didn't match by, I think, four or five characters or something like that. So MU didn't allow that person to play. Don't quite remember who it was. So I think Ketang Spy was going to be down by one. Well, I mean, bad. you know, you know, okay. I'm gonna say it from both perspectives because again, I try to, you know, I, I cast neutrally here. But you know, if you have a full season to fix this, this is not something new. People, I don't care, even if it's on my own team. I mean, fix your GUIs, man. It's not a hard job. I mean, all this is typing some letters and numbers in. I mean, you know, you wouldn't be having this problem. I mean, well, I can see know. if it's like one or two numbers or letters off, but th what they were typing in there was four. Four or five, I mean, come on. Oh, so it was somewhat close then? Because I was going to say, what happened to us with Cal is one of our players actually, you know, we played the whole season, his, uh, his GID was right, and then somehow it reverted to his BF2 one, and his 2142 just disappeared, and he had to uh, go re-add it. But, I mean, if there's if the one that he had in there was remotely close, then I guess he just had a really bad typo. You think he would have double checked? Well, I mean, I'm just reading off what they're saying because again, we're not in either team's events. But it looks like Mu was saying that it was like four or five characters off, and I mean, I can understand if it was two or one, then that's not a big deal. I mean, you know, stuff happens, but when it's off a little bit like that. And there's rumors out there that certain teams are ghosting. I mean, come on, you, you gotta, you gotta cover yourself. And you know, the rules out there. That's why we had. That's why there's rules. So you know, I don't know. That's my feeling on it. My take on it. So. But uh, Cornell, I remember uh, that particular circumstance. I think it happened in the playoffs as well, and it was due to Cal's own website having a defect where a lot of teams joined the uh, POE2 la. Um, league or tournament at one point and that then got canceled and then when that when the Cal website uh, POE2 tournament got canceled I think that's when the uh, people's GUID got changed to their BF2 GUIDs um, and I think you know that was kind of like a really bad thing I think it, uh, there was actually uh, a team that had to forfeit in the playoffs because of that and that's kind of sad because yeah they might have checked them uh, very well and ensured they were all correct but then the website changes it on them. I mean, I think most people would assume that if you check them once at the start of the season and that nobody goes and touches them, that uh, you'd assume that by the time you reach the playoffs, they're still identical. Uh, so it's kind of a sad uh, situation there. Oh, it, was, it wasn't right, you know. I mean, it, you know, we found out, like, as we're getting ready to play, like, what the problem was, and the team still said that he couldn't play, so... Yeah, we almost had to forfeit out of there, but we ended up playing man down, and luckily we won. Yeah, I just got some information from Willie saying that Kamikaze Donut had three or four wrong GUID numbers, um, and another guy had one number wrong, but they're letting him play. I mean, yeah, you know, it was a clearly a typo, which he has stated, so that's why Kamikaze Donut, um, they kind of pulled him on that, because when you have three or four... Um, that was the issue, but they're letting the other guy that had one character wrong, uh, they're letting him play because that's, they, to them, it looks like a type, so that's fine. So that's where I'm getting from Willie from MU. It's too bad, you know, Shoutcast and Mash playing a, a man down. I mean, it, it doesn't mean that they can't still win, but it definitely is a lot tougher. Yeah, no doubt. And I mean, I... No excuses, you know, I'm not going to say, you know, again. I mean, I mean, it's just, you got to take care of this stuff and, you know, we'll we'll find out more about it in the forums. I'm sure there's going to be two, like there's always two sides to every story. So we'll we'll get the lowdown, but that's the information I got. If somebody from KTP can let me know uh, at least the information on their side, and I can let that out also. So, so just let me know what's going on, guys. Uh-oh, there's a vote. They're, they are letting, the they're letting Van, Van play. Nice. That's a good thing. That's Thank a class. Thank you, massive units. That means pretty classy. Classy group of guys. All right, that's that's a good deal then. So 
the KTB is going to have their eight players. I think that's, is that what happened? Okay, yeah. yeah they, so it looks like KTB is going to have their eight players. That's good on Massive Unit voting that and letting them play. Um, now KTB is all happy. They got a uh, smile, so, you know. On KTB's behalf, I, I, I know Kamikaze Donut has played before, but you just never know who's behind the actual screen. And again, you can put any name you want. You know, create any account you want. Well, I think it'll so, make for a better match. I'm yeah, glad no Massive doubt. Unit... So, I mean, you know, from a viewer's perspective, I'm glad Massive Unit's letting them play. But it is kind of amazing. I mean, is Massive Unit the first team all season to check KTB's GUIDs? I mean, I, I'm surprised it made it this far. Yeah, I know. And, you know, it's a wonder that other teams don't do that. Well, one of the reasons might be because every time you call somebody on it, then people start complaining that you're just trying to rule screw them. And uh, I know, you know, being in the team where we, at one point, we didn't check the other team's GUID because we just didn't want to have to go through the drama. Even though, you know, you end up looking like the bad guy, but at least MU is doing the right thing and looking like the good guy, even though technically they were in their right to not let him play. Yeah, yeah, well, especially, you know, like with all the accusations out there, you just got to watch your back, you know what I mean, Lamek? I mean, you just never know these days, you, you know, it's hard to trust somebody behind a screen, so, you know, they're just covering in their butts there, that's all. Um, also, just to let people know that, you know, we don't just cast 21 and 42 and BF2, we also cast other great games like Counter-Strike Source, Call of Duty 2, uh, WIC, World in Conflict. Uh, you know, uh, Unreal Tournament. I mean, you can catch all those great games on eRev. Uh, just check, just go to eRev site and just check the schedule and check out the other teams. I mean, again, there's other games besides this one, so you know, show some support, some uh, support there, and check out those casts. Uh, we have some other great casters in there. I mean, I was listening to Counter Strike Source yesterday, uh, uh, Corny, and uh, my God, man, w Snake or excuse me, Triple Twenty sounds like a freaking. Uh, car I mean not a car salesman but like he's in an auction or something man and he talks so fast because the action is so quick in there in Counter-Strike Source it's like ridiculous so it's pretty entertaining it's like Shank sounds like he's a radio announcer you know yeah Shank sounds like he's a, a salesman man like he could sell an ice cube to an Eskimo I mean he's just so convincing with that voice I mean he gets me really uh, aroused you know sometimes listening to him <laughs> Uh, looks like there was only 19 slots in the server, and the server was full, so I decided to bow out, and I'll let you two handle the action this evening. Wow, class just going all the way around, not just from him, you, but also from Daddy Fat Sacks. Thank you, Fat Sacks. You know what that means, though. MU, so it is an M MU classy night. No douchebag award. All of your shoutouts send to Daddy Fat Sacks 23. Why would you Don't do that? I'll be all, playing man. Lord of the Rings. <laughs> well, that's fine. I was aware of that, too. All right. I'm trying to enjoy my uh, in and out burger. I'm trying to eat the last half of it. So, if you guys have any shout outs, so uh, just go ahead and get them over the air. Yeah, it looks I'm surprised we haven't gotten any shout outs in this little delay. I mean people can get a lot done right now. I have nothing better yeah, to no. do. Let me tell you, this is a good burger, man. I love it out. Yeah, I want, go eat a six by six for me. Oh hell dude. I, I can barely eat a cheeseburger, bro, let alone a six by six or even a protein style. I mean, some of you East Coasters out there won't don't know what I'm talking about, but us West Coasters, man, I'm telling you, people, and uh, I mean, you got to you gotta get in and out If you're ever on the West Coast, if you ever go to Vegas, man, make sure you hit in and out please. I'm telling you, it's the best. Did they pay you for that plug? No, but I'm giving it to them because they got great burgers. <laughs> yeah, when I lived in California, I was there at least once a week. It's kind of bad. That's some good stuff. I have a shout-out here, first shout-out of the night. 
It comes from uh, MU's own MG. Uh, I think he just signed on X Fire to tell me this. He said anger is always eating. He's a fat ass. <laughs> yeah. So. All right. Looks like we're gonna go live on restart here, and we are. So again, myself and Lime will be covering the pack love inside there with KTB. MU will be covered by Corn Nut. So about five more seconds here. We'll be getting underway. And the way we it looks like we have Big Drabowski in the walker now taking off. We have the squad leader uh, Kamikaze, Kamikaze Donut taking off in the uh, fast mover. Drops off one member over at the uh, docks office flag. What do you got over there? Uh, right now we've got uh, Scottish setting up his flag. Uh, you know, being a good commander, setting a good defense. I'm sure you realize what he's doing, but looks like he's taking cover now, starting his spotting. Doesn't look like the the commander's going anywhere. He's staying there at living quarters. The FAV for massive unit is just kind of sitting behind bridge while they have infantry there ready to pick off KTB as they try to come across. As I say that, there might actually be an infantry trying to go across the harbor, but actually looks like he's backing off now. So it looks like both teams are just kind of setting up a defense waiting for another to make a mistake. Yeah, pretty much it's uh, at a stalemate right now between Doc's office and bridge at the main bridge that uh, separates the two flags. Uh, ticket count 98 to 100. So right now they're going to conserve tickets and see who makes the first move and see if they can do a counter move on that. Uh, right now the walker from Massive Union shooting into the uh, infantry at Doc's office, but nothing really going on there too much. Just a little pot shots here and there. As it looks like both walkers are up, but, but they're both kind of just hanging back. Uh, doesn't seem like either team's really making a push yet. But it does look like uh, we have Willy Weed in a vehicle here. I'm not sure if he's going to try to go across the harbor or not. It looks like the KTB walker is running away. So, I mean, you'd think this would be a good time, but it doesn't look like yeah, we he's going to push the harbor yet. Yeah, we have Skittles dropping from KTB all over the bridge, but they didn't even attempt to hit the walker, so I don't know if that really worked because it didn't pick up any kills. So that's a waste of the arty, and uh, if Massive Unit was smart, they'll make a move here uh, knowing that they don't have any arty or, or amp strike. Ticket count still early in the uh, first round here, 98 to 99. So in case you just joined us, you're tuning into e Rev with Massive Unit and K Thanks Bye here. Cal, 8v8 semifinals matchup. What do you got, Corn? It seems like both teams are just still setting up a defense. I'm, I mean, after watching Massive Unit scrim against Who, I mean, they were always on the push. They even, they actually had Team Who almost capped out in their scrim. But it looks like they're being real conservative right now. Uh, both teams have their armor up, and they're not pushing the harbor. They're not even engaging in any real battle yet. So I hope it kind of picks up soon. Ticket. Still, you know, 99-98 as it was a couple minutes ago. Well, I think what MU is doing is showing a little bit of respect for KTB because what happened in TGO, Massive Unit did lose to KTB 2-1. Uh, to one, But Massive Unit did come back and beat them in Cal 2-0. Uh, so I think, you know, they're just showing respect because, I, you know, KTB is a, I mean, they're not a new team. They're a very uh, accomplished team. And, uh, you know, they're just seeing what's going on. They're just going to counter move, I think, I believe. Um, right now, they're just pretty much at a stalemate. It is not visually stimulating on the eyes for our viewers, but Skittles are dropping right now for Massive Unit on top of... Oh, and he takes out the walker. Nice move by Scottish, taking out Drabowski in that walker. So very key arty drop there by uh, Scottish. What do you have, Cornet? Yeah, KTB actually did tie it up. It was 98-98, but Scottish taking out that walker. Massive Unit was able to take the lead again by one ticket. There's now... It's almost down to 21 minutes left, and... You know, not much has happened. I mean, almost, let's see, four minutes has passed. Well, looks right like now, it looks like we have a fast mover, Cornette. Yeah, we had a fast mover in the outer docks. Uh, I don't know if that's been taken care of. Uh, Destructo took the car out there with uh, motion okay. mine. Yeah, right now, just again, they're just pretty much fighting between Bridge and Doc's office, and uh, I think what they're going to do is wait for the car and then possibly push again. Well, what do you got over there, Corn? 97, 97. Yeah, I'm surprised uh, the Walker uh, Banduran for Massive Unit hasn't 
really engaged in anything yet. He's just kind of sitting back. I guess maybe he's waiting for KTB to uh, make their push. But I think KTB is also waiting for Massive Unit to make their push. So, I mean, somebody's going to have to do something. I mean, it's still 97-97. But as I say that, it does look like there is a squad member from Massive Unit moving up north. Uh, looks like he's he might possibly get in the harbor. I'm not sure. I'm, well, you, you I'll know, follow Cornette. him and I'll let you know. Yeah, you know, Cornet, Massive Unit is making a little mistake here. Uh, they're not picking up their fast mover. Now, if I was KTB... I would try to come, you know, and do an opening into the massive unit defense and go to living quarters and at least attempt to steal the car. Uh, that's a ver very valuable asset to have on this map is that fast mover. And without that, it makes a, uh, an infantry uh, or makes a team difficult to move around on the map since everything's so spread out. Um, I'm surprised that massive unit hasn't picked up the car yet. That might be a bad mistake. We'll see what, what transpires here. And it still looks like both teams just setting up a defense. Now down to almost 19 minutes left. Uh, still 97-97. Uh, we still have Scottish spotting. He did just put up a UAV. But it doesn't, according to the UAV, it doesn't look like they're pushing yet over there from KTB. You know, we actually do have a squad leader from Massive Unit, Willie Weed. Oh, you know, he was walking to the ramp for the harbor, and he turned around. Actually, it looks like he might turn around. Oh, he did go. He's got him back to bridge. You know, I don't care what team, but I want to see one of these teams push in. I mean, the ticket count's still 97-97. Well, right now, Skittles are dropping from KTB on top of Van Duren there, uh, but... Van Duren has the shields up, or he did have the shields up. Now he's just trying to get away from it. Uh, he might survive this because the Artie is just a little bit uh, up above him, or forward of him, and he does survive that Artie drop. It still has a supply box. So right now, ticket count still 97, 97, and it looks like time limit may uh, be an issue here, uh, Cornette. We'll take a, keep a closer eye on that with 18 minutes uh, left right now in the first round. Hey, you know... Whenever I would play this map, I would actually try to uh, command out of the Rorsch there at Bridge. Because, I mean, if you kill somebody with it, that's an instant ticket. And, you know, it's pretty, after that update with the Rorsch, you know, where they pretty much centered it now. I mean, if you aim, it's going to hit the target. I mean, they, they could actually be shooting the KTB Walker right now. And infantry that, you know, walk out onto the bridge. You know, Cornet, actually, I'm... I'm I'm disappointed in, in MU right now because they're not pushing in. And I know KTB's not pushing either, but, I mean, this is not usually the style that MU comes out with, and I'm very disappointed in them right now by not doing this. They're just pretty much stagnant right now. But KTB is rushing into the uh, bridge area right now. They're, make, they're making their first push, so props to KTB for breaking the stalemate right now. KTB, oh, big shoot, take it out. Chaos, Ranger, Chaos takes out damn clowns, though. Before he died there, the... Walker coming across uh, Drabowski into the uh, bridge area. What do you got over there, Corn? Uh, looks like Massive Unit is trying to uh, set up a defense here at bridge, but um, it looks like KTB almost has a neutral. They did get it neutralized, but Massive Unit's on it, and they're, they got Van Duren there with the Walker helping uh, bring that flag back up slowly but surely, pending if he can win this Walker battle going on right now. But as I yeah. say that, there's an imp on him, and I bet Skittles are soon to follow. And they are. Van Duren was taken out by Better's artillery, but he did get the flag up. Yeah, that was an awful nice move by KTB there. They didn't get the flag up in their favor. They did take out the walker, and this is a perfect time to for KTB to push, which they are doing. They're coming across again uh, with a full fast mover right now, and they're heading on over to the living quarter, and the car just spawned for massive unit. They're going to lose their car again. I, I want to. I'm going to slap them in the face when I tell them because they're not paying attention to the main for the car anyway. Nice move by KTB though. They're in the main right now on top of the flag at Living Quarter. What do you have over there, Cornet? Yeah, if you notice, uh, K KTB has actually uh, two tickets down right now, but they are on Massive Unit's main. So if they can actually get this main, which it looks like they might, they have. Uh, three members on the flag right now and it just got neutralized now they're gonna have the bleed they may actually be able to take the lead for massive unit yeah they have the flag noosed right now uh, MG takes out kamikaze donut MG 
takes out damn clowns there with a grenade but that's not going to hold off there because it looks like ktb is going to get the flag in their favor and there's going to be a bleed as of right now but skittles dropping all over the flag but a little too late uh looks like ktb has control of that so the the bleed is on massive unit right now ticket count 85 to 87 with 15 minutes left what do you got corn yeah massive unit is responding to that they've got the one of their squad leaders it would be uh, Banduran heading that way right now to the flag to try to take on KTB. Hopefully he can get some members to join his squad to spawn on him quick because he is in a one-man squad, but he was actually taken out. So Bleed still on Massive Unit. Massive Unit is holding on to the lead, though, and it does look like we have a presence at Doc's office with Massive Unit. They did just get the flag neutralized, so they may stop this bleed and hold on to that lead. I mean, they have a one-ticket lead right now. And they did stop the bleed, so. Well, if I was KTB and I just took the main, I would, if I was a commander, I would spawn at living quarters and take out the assets, at least take out the UAV and the Artie, because those are the two big uh, primary weapons that a commander had. Uh, again, right now, we have KTB pushing back in the Doc's office right now. A ticket count 77 even right now with 14 minutes left. Van Duren takes out Radaman. Crazy 8 takes out Ninja with a Malkov. So just a lot of fighting uh, taking place here at Doc's office. What do you got, Corn? Yeah, it looks like Master Unit has a, their commander and Van Duren in the bridge radius and the rest of the team there at Doc's office. I mean, they have four members there at Doc's office. I wouldn't be surprised to see Massive Unit push up to outer docks, but Willy Weed, the squad leader for the squad there at Doc's office, was just taken out by Destructo with the Sudnik, so he cannot be revived. You know, his teammates, can't, his teammates can't really do much for him there, but I'm sure he'll be spawning back in. But KTB does have a two-ticket lead now with 13 and a half minutes left. And they also have the walker advantage here, uh, Corn Nut, because uh, the main wasn't taken from them, obviously. So they still have that walker up and that's a key piece of, uh, of armor to use in this type of map. Right now, uh, take account 73-71, KTB in the lead. And uh, really, massive unit is spread out between Doc's office and bridge right now. And uh, looks like they're trying to figure out where they want to push. Uh, most of the KTB element is in the outer Doc's area with only three guys at living quarters. And yeah, we do have a push there by massive unit at living quarters. Looks like they're going to try to save their assets. Uh, I mean, right now, you know, they have no assets. They have no fast mover and no walkers. They're they're going to need to get this living quarters back. And they've got both Van Duren and Willie Weed squad pushing right now. When it looks, according to the UAV, there's only one defender left from KTB there at the flag. Yeah, one of the funny things about this, though, Corner, as you were saying about the assets, MU has all their assets except the M strike. So that's what's kind of funny. I guess they're going to have to, you know, they didn't take out the RD or UAV. That's kind of odd. But nevertheless, KTB did save the flag here at Living Quarters in their favor. And they have the walker pushing up uh, for KTB to probably give it more defensive uh, toughening there at Living Quarters. Right now, Massive Unit is trying to push. Looks like Outer Docks Cornet. Can you fill me in a little bit more on that? Uh, they're not really pushing. There's just a couple squad leaders. It looks like they're, they have more of a very conservative defense there at Doc's office. It doesn't look like they're really pushing yet. Actually, they may be there about halfway right now. It looks like they actually might, but there is no squad leader, so it doesn't seem like a very smart push, but if they succeed, I guess they'll prove me wrong. Yeah, the walker just cleaning up massive unit right now. Or excuse me, I take that back. Uh, look at and Biggins takes out Jera there with a pylum. It looked like uh, he stole the walker. So again, ticket count 60 to 58 in the favor of KTB. Very, very close here. Uh, KTB looks like they're trying to push into bridge right now. They're coming with four guys strong, two squad leaders coming into the uh, bridge area from the north end of that flag. What do you got over there, Corn? Yeah, they're at bridge. If they have four on the way, I can tell you now, Scottish and Bandurin are the only ones there defending it right now and it looks like Scottish is down so there's just the squad leader Van Duren, but he's in a lone squad and he's going to join the fight you think right about now he would be telling people to join his squad but he's not and as I said that you know there's nobody spawning in on Van Duren. he is still you know he's just taken out and now 58 55 in the favor of KTB and they once again have the bleed on massive unit 
Yeah, they took that bridge very, very easily. And right now they're pushing the docks office. And I believe at outer docks, Massive Union got taken off the flag. But no, I take that back. They're going to get outer docks right now. So they're going to take KTB's main. But right now we have KTB rushing very, very hard into docks office right now with five to six guys right now pushing in there with no defense. Looks like R2-D2 has entered the scene, though, ladies and gentlemen. There is an R2-D2 sighting here on the flag at Doc's office and just pretty much uh, hitting off uh, KTB as they come in. Yeah, Massive Unit was able to stop the bleed with ca capping that outer Doc's. All they basically did was exchange flags from, you know, where we started. But in that whole exchange, you know, going back and forth, KTB does hold on to a seven ticket lead, but as I say that, we have a push by massive unit on living quarters. Looks like we have two members still alive. They're trying to res their squad leader now, and they did. Willie Weed is up, so now we have a push on living quarters. Three strong. We'll see if KTB can counter that. Yeah, KTB gets Doc's office, so nice job by then. Ticket count 52 to 44 in the favor of K. Thanks, bye. But Matt, uh, nope, take that back. Yep. They're going to get that flag, so they're going to put the bleed right back on them. So KTB doing a nice job of uh, nice infantry movement in between the flags here. And, uh, whoop, they got taken out of Doc's office, so I apologize about that. So massive unit cleaning up Doc's office. So right now we're at a stalemate, 48 to 41 in the first round here. Still very, very close, Cornet. Yeah, Do uh, massive unit was able to stop that push there at Doc's office. I mean, KTP, they had that flag. I mean, it was almost there. But the two massive unit members that were left were able to, uh, to stop him and get that dock's office back up to avoid the bleed. But as I say that, we do have a massive unit presence there at living quarters. And I'm pretty sure KTB's commander has already used his, his uh, orbital. So out, and it looks like massive unit's dreams were crushed there. KTB did stop him at living quarters. So now take it 45-34 in the favor of KTB. Slowly but surely they are, you know, gaining on the lead with eight minutes and ten seconds left. Yeah, they're doing a very, very nice job of defending and getting back to that back flag, but right now, big, big push from Massive Unit coming into Bridge, and this is where, this is going to take place right here at Bridge. This is going to be a key push right here because KTB is coming back also to defend, and the Skittles are dropping better. Takes out Jera there with an Artie drop, so he gets one. Make that two, take, make that three. Takes out Jera again after the revive, and takes out MG, so nice Artie drop by better. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a, a battle here. It looks like KTB is coming to uh, react to this. Massive unit went in there, seven strong, and now they're down to two left. One looks like Chaos Ranger is the and Chaos Ranger was taken out. Great defense by KTB. Massive, I thought Massive Unit was going to have that. I mean, they were seven strong going into bridge, and when they went there, it looks like there's only a couple of KTBs. But uh, looks like the commander must have been spotting, and they reacted quick. They got their their backups there just in time. Yeah, it was a nice job by them because I mean that push I think is going to hurt MU for this first round because right now. Uh, there's, what, 16 ticket leader, give or take, and that's going to hurt them. It's very difficult to get that back. They're going to have to create a bleed and get it quickly here if they want to stay in this first round. Again, ticket count 42 to 27 right now. And uh, right now, Jared takes out Radaman with a rocket, but Radaman, before he died, took out Jared, so pretty much negated that ticket. Six minutes and 40 seconds left. This may be an issue here, uh, Cornet. We'll have to really, really watch this now as we get closer to the... Uh, bottom of this first round yeah massive unit knows the clock is their worst enemy at this point i mean there's six minutes 25 seconds left it looks like they're going to make another push here at bridge they've got four members left still alive we've got van duren at willy weed and a few of his squad mates but ktb is all over it oh looks like willy weed and jer are the only ones left there we'll see if ktb can get them they did get a ninja revive, though. Well, they have four members here. Make that five. They're resing each other here at Massive Unit. is, and So they're on the south portion of the bridge near this big antenna, I guess you can call it, on the uh, south end of the bridge right now. So there's a lot of them here. I think this is going to be the final push that's going to decide this round right here, uh, Corna, because it is 35-21. Uh, it's very, very close, and KTV is really doing a nice job of defense here. But Massive Unit doing also a nice job of resing, but that is it right there. KTB, nice job cleaning up that flag at a bridge. 
Yeah, we looks like uh, all of Massive Unit was taken out. That was another great defense by KTB. Uh, we have Bandur and Sp or Willie Weed spawning again at Doc's office, and then looks like MG is just kind of sitting at outer docks. You know, this might actually be one of those times that maybe they should send MG across the harbor, just solo. You know, at least just be a distraction. You know, maybe go towards living quarters. I mean, if he can get a couple of KDB off of bridge, you know, massive unit might still have a chance to cap that flag and get the bleed. I mean, there's four minutes, uh, 55 seconds left, and they're down 18 tickets, 33 to 15. I mean, massive unit needs to do something quick. Yeah, right now, uh, it was a good, that's a really excellent call, what you did there, uh, Corny. It is a good time for a diversion. Uh, right now, when I was commanding, I would always push up to the north in this type of spot here, and you're right, to try to pull the defense up around you, at least get two guys near your three, to make your uh, other main push a lot easier. Drabowski, nice rocket on Chaos and Jera there. Radiment joining in, in the game, the rocket game there, taking out Ben Duren with one. So ticket count 33 to 15. Um, no ticket loss there because they did res those members for MU. So really, after KTB got the first push, this has been very interesting, uh, Cornet. You know, this, since the last time uh, I mentioned, you know, maybe they should think about doing a diversion, Massive Unit is just now starting to push on the bridge. I mean, I can't believe they waited this long. I mean, I mean, if you look at the clock, there is under four minutes left. And, you know, they're down 18 tickets. I mean, at this point, even if they do get the bleed, I mean, <laughs> you know, it might not last long enough. I mean, it might end before the bleed helps them out enough to where they can win. I mean, they, they need to move a little faster. Yeah, you're yeah you're exactly right on the time because uh, it takes a while once the bleed go into effect. I mean, it doesn't take that long, but I mean, to, for, to catch up in tickets, it's going to take a little bit, and they better do it quickly. But 32 to 13, but I just I don't think they're going to do it. Uh, KTB just did enough uh, defensive job here at Bridge to really uh, help them on here. I'm getting a little lag. Are you getting that? Uh, I'm not actually. Okay. But yeah, I mean, like. <laughs> if you look, I mean, the it's almost a 20 point difference right now. Really, the only hopes Massive Unit has is you know throwing that Hail Mary and going for a cap out right now, because I mean, even if they do cap this bridge, they're not going to be able to you know get that many tickets in under three minutes. I mean, the bleed's not going to help them that much. So Massive Unit needs to pick up their game. I mean, they need to uh, stop. You know, standing around, they need to send send MG that's just sitting there at outer docks. I mean, he is blowing the commander's assets, but you know, he needs to not worry about the commander's assets. You know, throw that hell Mary, go to living quarters, see what he can do. You know, and send the rest of the team to bridge. I mean, a cap out's the only way they're going to win this. Which you know, yeah, now I don't see a cap out happening. Yeah, I don't see a cap out happening on this corner. I think you're just going to have to try to reserve, um, like try to get KTB down as many tickets as you can before you lose your seven uh, there's no no other way to to get this done right now they're making a little little push or actually a good size push into uh, bridge right now there's five members for massive unit but there's a big KTB defensive line here and uh, they're doing a lot of resing they're keeping each other up and they're doing a nice job there damn clowns gets a nice double shotgun kill on ninja and smoke ticket count 29 to 7 still MU doing some resin, so they're they're really reserving their last seven tickets there. So they're going to lose a ticket there. Six now for Massive Unit. What do you got, Corn? Yeah, it looks uh, Massive Unit. I mean, there's they're pretty spread out right now. It looks like they created a third squad with Chaos Rangers, the squad leader, and he is actually north of Bridge right now. So I mean, it looks like they're going to have a push down towards the bridge. But I mean, they only have two tickets left. It's pretty much over. We've got Banduran down right now. He was revived, luckily, but ticket count 26 to two in the favor of KTB. And this is pretty much our. I mean, there's nothing Massive Unit can do but try to uh, get as many tickets off of KTB as they can at this point. Yeah, the fighting taking place on the northern part of the map now, and that is it. KTB takes the first round, 24 to zero, with one minute left in that round. And yeah, you know, with these two teams, I, I kind of thought that both teams were just going to come out attacking. I mean, that's what, I mean, Massive Unit does, and they didn't do it this round. And, I mean, I think that may have hurt them. They played defense too long, you know. That's just not what I'm used to seeing with Massive Unit.
Yeah, they, they played in the hands of KTB there, but we're going to go over the EREF scoreboard. Biggin, Biggin gets, goes 22 and 10. We also have Damn Clowns going 27 and 6, and Radamant going 18 and 12 with the Commander better, going a total combined score of 71. What do you got over there? Yeah, I pulled a Tusk and actually closed mine because, you know, I was talking and not paying attention, so you can go ahead and cover <laughs> Massive Unit, too. I clicked out of it because I thought you had it. That's okay, Biggie. <laughs> I, you know what? I bet you Limic has it. Limic, what do you got? For which side again? Massive, Massive unit. unit. Don't breathe hard. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so we have Chaos Ranger 28 and 11, Smoke 19 and 12, Jura at 18 and 20, Willie at 15 and 8. Ninja at 15 and 13, Bandurin at 13 and 17, Scottish as a commander, total score 31. All right, thank you, Lightning. <laughs> Sorry about that. You can send your uh, Douchebag yeah, Award shout outs to me on IRC for that one. <laughs> All right. Well, lo and behold, I just got an X Fire from X Rays from MAD. This is a shout out to the community. Shout out to the 2142 community. Sorry for the poor leadership and attitude that Mad Gamers has shown over the past months. Both Shaka and I are extremely sorry for the for making a lot of of the community angry at them. So that is our apology from Mad. I guess they're trying to turn over a new leaf, and you know, I mean, every everybody needs a second chance. Um, you know, again, Mad they have some good guys over there. I I like Shaka and Grunt used to be there. And uh, X-Ray's a good guy, so, uh, you know, I, I, I'm not sure if they got rid of the hackers that they had on their team, but uh, hopefully they did, and they can turn over a new leaf and, and move on to another game. Yeah, it looks like I have a shout-out here from Smash, singing a, uh, sending a shout-out to himself for warming the bench. And I'm not sure if this is a shout-out or a comment, but Badvar saying that he thinks he's the one on the bleed, not Massive Unit. You know, because of the round is terrible. And good game to Fat Sacks for playing terrible. Lord of the Rings. <laughs> well, I'm going to tell you right now, like you stated a little bit ago, Cornette, if, M if MU wants to win this second round, they're just going to have to come out full guns blazing here because there's just no ifs, ands, buts about it. Because KTB is playing a nice, nice defense. They're moving really fluent from flag to flag. So... I mean, you're going to have to play a, a nice, perfect round here uh, in the second round. Don't worry about, about the third round. Just worry about this round and really just not lose your car. Pay attention to that crap because, I mean, there was twice they just left the car sitting in the main. And come on, you know, you can't be doing that. you got to pay attention to everything that's going on around you. So make sure, you know, that's one of the key things. And keep that car and use it, man, for God's sakes, you know? And Massive Unit has great guns. They need to use them right out of the you know I mean right out of the gate they need to send them I mean don't you know don't set up that defense push that's what they do best I mean let's see a more interesting round I mean not that that was a bad round I mean it was just long we like to see quick rounds I don't I mean I don't really care who wins it but I want to see a good fight you know what I mean yep no doubt all right we got a shout out from angry Picard Good job to KTB. Always know they had a great potential in the AV8 format. And that is from Angry Picard for President. And we also have a yeah, shout-out from Sniper from Daggle. Shout-out to my eyes for bleeding MG1-1 for the win and Limex360 control for the win. Yeah, I've got Lucky B calling uh, Massive Unit caps out KTB this round. We'll see. The way KTB played, I'm, I'm starting to say they won't get capped out. No, but I guarantee they this they round's a... gonna. Yeah, they they put up a good defense. I don't think yeah. this is gonna end with a cap out by either team. But I have a feeling this is gonna be a more interesting round. Yeah, yeah. If I if I know Ninja and Willie and all them, they're I'm I'm hoping because I know I'd be in their ear talking to them and telling them, you know what, this is what we gotta do because this, you know, this is unacceptable. And, you know, they've been playing this for a couple seasons, so there's no excuses. So that's why I'm a little disappointed. But um, KTB, again, I can't say enough how they played that 
first round. Nice defensive perimeter, and they, again, they just float from flag to flag like nobody's business. Uh, I'm sure they'll keep doing the same thing, and the commander was doing a nice job of spotting and really just telling their team where Massive was going. So Got to give them the big props. So I will be following the pack side again uh, with Limek, and this time we'll be following Massive Unit. And Cornet will be following KTB on the EU side, so uh, we'll be we'll get that situated here. Yeah, it looks like KTB's ready and moves ready, so we're going live now. All right, about three seconds here. And away we go. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like we have Banduran getting to the same spot there in the walker. Chaos Ranger taking the fast mover. And uh, he's going to head on over to uh, Bridge. It looks like we have better the commander for KTB setting up for a vehicle to possibly come across there to uh, living quarters throwing motion mines where you see in last round Scottish you know when he set up his flag he actually spawned recon which almost helped them there at living quarters when KTB pushed it I'm not sure if you've seen that but he got a double C4 kill but luckily KTB had one guy the one that went to go steal the car happened to be a uh, medic and was able to pick their guys up that round yeah very interesting here we have uh, KTB bringing up their walker very very close to bridge there uh, actually, I think it would be a nice move. Uh, they're not really being really protective too much of the walker, even though it's behind the fence line. There. But as I'm saying that, he's backing up a little bit out of that area. Uh, still early in the second round here, 98 to 100. And um, both teams just getting set up. And looks like pretty much what we see in the first round, deja vu a little bit here. Uh, both teams just staring at each other, just uh, rocketing back and forth here, uh, Cornet. Well, KTB at one point did... Uh, send a car across the bridge, but it was taken out and luckily he bailed out in time. So I mean KTB, they did attempt to uh, make a push there at the beginning, but they were smart about it and got out before the car got blown up. Massive unit was definitely ready for it. But yeah, it does look like uh, they're both just setting up a defense right now. But as I say that, KTB does have a guy up there by the ramp there at the harbor. I'm not sure if he's going to push across or not, but we do have somebody just spawned in the car. We'll see where they could, where they take it. Again, massive unit not paying attention. They're leaving the car in the main again. I, the reason I bring that up because that is a very important piece of uh, equipment to use to your advantage here. And I mean, instead of using the car, they're just moving, walking, and actually they're getting to a uh, bridge pretty quickly here. So. I'm mistaken a little bit there. Did he get Bridge uh, on foot? Uh, the fight taking place here on Bridge right now. Damn Clowns takes out Ninja. Jared taking on Crazy Ace there. And uh, the fight is still taking place there. But KTB trying to clean it up. There's a lot of members from Massive Unit now. Or I shouldn't say a lot, but a couple here. Trying to get things going on the uh, Bridge flag. And we still have Willy Weed there. And if he's squad leader like he was last time, he is in the flag area. Yeah, I mean, he's not on the radius, but he's there behind the tank, possibly being a spawn point. I'm not sure if KTB knows that he's there. Yeah, still right now, we have a massive unit all over bridge. They're just spread out all around there. So this is going to be a little problem for KTB because they're not in a, a centralized area around bridge. Uh, they're up in the piping system here north of the flat, and they're giving the walker fits because the walker's just moving around everywhere around that area. And uh, they're trying to get those guys out. But I think what the main thing is that they're trying to push the main from that area in the piping system. And as I'm saying that, they got a fast mover. So this is going to be interesting here, Cornet, what Massive Unit is going to do here. Uh, KTB has a nice perimeter, though. So they're doing a nice job on playing defense. Yeah, their walker is on top of it. And it looks like he might actually... Uh, there were some motion mines thrown down on the KTB walker, so... He's pretty immobile right now, it looks like, but Massive Unit is still trying to push, and he was, uh, it was MG, he was taken out by damn clowns with the rocket. 
Yeah, ticket count still early, 87 to 94 in the favor of KTB. And that was more of a diversion tactic because Massive Unit is all over bridge right now. KTB trying to recover and get back to bridge as quickly as possible. Massive Unit has it nuked as we speak. Uh, Massive Unit has dropped Skittles a little bit towards the walker there. And looks like they're going to get that in their favor because they have a ton of people here, and they do. So right now, KTB is ready to push with that fast mover. And it looks like they're going to hit the outer docks. Cornette, what do you got? Yeah, we've got a fast mover from KTB on the way to Outer Docks right now that was full, and they just squad bombed. Now there's four members from KTB at Outer Docks. They're going to try to stop the bleed because, I mean, Massive Unit, they had a great push there. I mean, if that was a diver diversion, it worked great because they captured uh, Bridge. And, that you know, that's the Massive Unit I'm used to seeing. I was kind of surprised I didn't oh. see that. Last time, but, but the KTB did get Outer Docks neutralized to stop the bleed, but it looks like Massive Unit does still have a commander there. I'm not sure if KTB knows he's there. Yeah, Cornet, they just stole Massive Unit's walk. Not good. Uh, they did not, the, the commander did not possibly relay that back to their uh, infantry because they just stole the walker. It spawned at a perfect time for KTB, and actually the walker is taken out by smoke. K, uh, KTB does get Outer Docks. And right now they're going to Doc's office, so right now they're playing uh, flag tag, but Massive Unit is moving from bridge to living quarters with three members. This is going to get a little crazy, Cornet. Yeah, not sure if you noticed, but if you look at the score, that, that little encounter with that, that short time they had the bleed, they were actually able to tie the score. Uh, Massive Unit has taken the lead now, 82-80, to 80, and they may possibly get this uh, Doc's office up. If they get that, they're going to get the bleed again, and you know, just gain on that lead, and they did capture it, so, or, sorry, KTB got the, got the bleed, and they're, actually just took the lead from Massive Unit, sorry, I got confused for a minute there. Yeah, they're playing a lot of flag tag here, ticket count 77 even right now, Massive Unit is all over leaving course, so basically we're just going to swap the sides of the map here, uh, once they... Oh, I take that back. Living Quarters, it looks like KTB is all over back to their main now. So this is going to be good for them, but not good for them in a sense also because the Massive Unit is trying to push back to Doc's off. So this is getting a little crazy because Massive Unit has some people on the northern part of Living Quarters. So it is getting a little crazy here, Corn. Yeah, it looks like uh, Massive Unit does still have a presence there at Living Quarters, though. They must have a squad leader around. But, I mean, KTB is all over it. I mean, they've got, let's see, five guys there on the defense. They have two squad leaders, two squad members, and a commander. So, I mean, this push by Massive Unit was stopped. I mean, they had such a defense there by KTB. So KTB remains uh, to hold the bleed. But as I say that, it looks like they're in trouble of possibly losing Doc's office if they can't stop uh, Massive Unit here. Yeah, Ben Duran's all over it right now. And we got a defib, and look like, let me pull that screen up there. Look like Radamek got a defib on Banduran on the roof there at Doc's off, so nice job there. We have them moving to bridge also right now, and ticket count right now 55 to 71 with 17 minutes left in the uh, second round right now. The walker coming into bridge, Cornette, what do you got? Uh, yeah, we've got that walker pushing bridge, but he is all alone. Uh, we have just the commander from KTB better holding down living quarters and absolutely nobody but the R2-D2 at Outer Docks defending it. So, I mean, really, if Massive Unit were to push anywhere but Docks office, they will, you know, outnumber KTB wherever they go. Yeah, it's all of KTB's... Uh, team there at Doc's office other than the commander which the commander just took a car to bridge yeah massive Anyways. unit is just is not doing any good job they're kind of spread out here and KTB is just applying pressure from all angles out of into the uh, bridge area right now and uh, look like Yep, look like KTB lost the car, but they still have to walk in the same general area there. Balls are dropping, uh, trying to get around there, and Artie is dropping all over Big Drabowski, but he's going to survive that. And uh, ticket count 66 to 35, and the fat lady is gurgling some water right now, getting ready to sing, Cornut. Yeah, definitely. This started out so well. I mean, KTB, they had the lead. The massive unit got the bleed and actually tied the score, and then for a short time took the lead. But KTB got that bleed right back on them, and it's been just pounding Massive Unit since. They haven't been able to stop it. I mean, they now have 
Let's see, a 30 ticket lead, 31 now, 61 to 30. KTB just giving it to Massive Unit right now. Yeah, right now we have three members from Massive Unit trying to push into Doc's office, but Skittles are dropping around them, so they just pre already them, uh, knowing that they were going in that area. Biggins takes out Jera, but Chaos takes out damn clowns in that same area here. Uh, looks like Smoke just spawned in off of Chaos Ranger right now, and he gets taken out by Radamint. Uh, just a lot of action happening just a little bit outside of Doc's office right now. Ticket count 23 to 60 with 15 minutes left in the second round. And uh, KTB looks like they're going to be advancing to the finals uh, against uh, the winner of, uh, I believe, Origin and Rubix there. That yeah, massive unit did have a push there at Doc's office, but it was taken out. So, I mean, it looks like they're really spread out according to the UAV right now. They're just picking them off one by one. KTB just, you know, gaining on that lead, 60 to 17. I mean, this... Wow, start off so well, but you know, at least there's a lot of action this round. Yeah, no doubt. KTB right now, a train that's out of control because they just won TWL League in the 8v8s there. And now they're just bringing that momentum here into Cal here, uh, trying to reach the finals uh, there. So they're doing a nice job, oh, man. i got to give them a lot of props here. Ticket count 60 to 7 with four, a little bit over half of 14 minutes left. And uh, that time issue is not going to be a factor with six tickets left. Uh, supply box dropping here, and uh, you know KTB did a nice job, and they're on the flag right now. They have it nooshed at bridge corner. Yeah, that's just. Uh, it looks like it's going to be over yep. before that, that comes to effect. Yeah. Uh, that is it. Final. 50 no, go ahead, Cornet. Oh, I was just going to say final ticket count: 56 to zero. KTB winning two rounds to zero over Massive Unit. Yeah, great job by KTB there, and. Uh, we're going to go over the E-Rev scoreboard for Massive Unit. We have Jera going 11 to 10. We have Chaos Ranger going 17 and 6 with Smoke going 10 and 10. With the Commander Scottish going a total combined score of 12. What do you got for KTB? Don't click out. Oh, you know, dang it. No, uh, we have no, I Big and... Oh. <laughs> no, I got Rodman. We have Rodman and Big and both going 10 and 5. Big Drabowski 19 and 3. Damn Clowns 14 and 6. Better the Commander. 38 points. Well, we got to talk about Iron Man there, uh, uh, Cornette. And, you know, I have to admit, for the movement that they've been getting, that they did, going, with, I mean, playing the defense, knowing where everything was, I mean, the, the commander did an excellent, excellent job there. I mean, if anybody, you know, he should get the credit, at least in my opinion, because he, he just let the whole team know where, where Massive Unit was pushing, and they just answered all the, all the calls there. Have we ever given a commander Iron Man, though? Oh, yeah, we have. We have? Okay. We yep. can do that then. Yeah. So I'm a commander as well. You know, commanders never get any love. Show your commander some love every once in a while. They never get the spotlight. All right. <laughs> I, I, you know, I'm all for giving it to better. Well, if there's anybody from KTB that are bench warmers and I'm just messing with you guys but if there's anybody out there from KTB or anybody that knows better uh, please have him get a hold of me and uh, or if one of their leaders from KTB can get a hold of me I can give you the information so we can get a quick interview with the uh, Ironman of the match but in the meantime Cornet do you have anything off the uh, pound E-Rev there uh, is there any shout outs from that or maybe from your X-Fire uh, no more shout outs but you know, I do still have one of them up from Lucky B saying Massive Unit was going to cap out. Uh, I think at the end there, I think they actually got capped out. Although they did still have two guys alive, so uh, Lucky B, you were wrong. Okay, so I got a confirmation from Damn Clowns. Okay, good. And is this here? Oh, Angry Picard for President again. Very good job from KTB congrats three thumbs up for the great performance Picard you you must be like some type of mutant with three thumbs we have a shout out from uh, I just it just says ninja I don't know what you're trying to prove here before the ninja portion but shout out to KTB good game guys I don't know Picard you you got issues uh, okay here we go Got his x fire so if you want to talk a little bit here real quick, Cornet, while I get this guy. All right, I'll just go over a couple shout-outs here. I've got a shout-out from 
Lucy. Giving a shout out to Ace. You're the worst commander ever. I'm not sure if that's a joke or whatever, you know, one of those inside things. I also have one from Maine from SFR. Shout out to MG. Good game, bro. I miss you. So yeah, that's all the shout outs I have so far. Hopefully Anger can get the Iron Man in here soon. Looks I think he's talking to him over X Fire right now. Yeah, I'm trying to get a hold of him right now. And I'm not That's <laughs> Yeah. That's another reason reason I don't do predictions. I see I wouldn't have predicted I mean I know KTV is a great team but I wouldn't have predicted that. I mean I would have you know I could have seen the possibility of it going to a third round but either way I thought Massive Unit was going to win. But great job by KTV there. And also a shout out from Damn Clowns to Radiment for keeping his ass alive. Nice reviving. I mean, the entire KTB team did a good job there with their teamwork, keeping those revives. All right, hold on real quick. Let me give him the information. Hey, Lamek, you there? All right. Yes, I am. Hey, if you have any shout outs, you can get that across. No shout outs, but uh, I guess probably all of you guys already know this but uh, I believe tomorrow is the day that the uh, world in conflict uh, demo comes out so make sure to grab that and uh, obviously the Bioshock demo is already out and I've been enjoying that on the 360 and uh, it's a hoot yeah, definitely I have a shout out here from Agus to Chaos Ranger good job owning it up but I don't know why one of massive units best Guns is a squad leader. And Sinister from NGA saying, good game, KTB. All right, look, I can't get a hold of this guy, and this is very, very entertaining. Irritating. I don't, he's expiring me as the batter mix, but he has a different tag on, so I'm not going to give it to him unless I get a confirmation. That's the X-Fire I was given as well. Okay. Oh. Lucy. Okay, can you give him the information? Can I make, please? My thing's freezing up again. Lucy giving a shout out to Limec because he owns. I got to doesn't do anything. Yeah, I got to reformat this damn laptop. It's pissing me off. I just feel like right now I'm serious, Courtney. I feel like throwing this freaking thing out the window right now. I, I swear. It just, this is why they name me Anger because I get I get pissed for stupid stuff. But well, if you do it, make sure you're keyed up so everybody can hear. See, my thing is locked up now because I got like 15 X-Fires right now. This is what happened last time. So I should get the douchebag award also, Cornet, from my horrible laptop. Oh, man, I'm getting blown up with shout-outs now. So you there you go. Can keep you, trying take it, to, uh, you can keep trying to get a, get a hold of better. Got a shout-out from Crazy Ace from KTB. Shout-out from KTB Crazy Ace. Wait, I am confused. Hold on. Oh, well, either way. Great game tonight, Massive Unit. Thanks for being so kind to let Kami and Better play. It's not their fault they can't read. Yeah. All teams, even if you're not KTB, check your GUIDs. Make sure they are right. Yeah, even though the rosters are locked, talk to the admins. If your stuff's jacked up, I mean, I'm sure the admins will let you fix it. As long as it's, you know, as long as it's maybe one or two characters wrong, but... If you're trying to change six characters or five, I don't think it's going to happen. But, you know, come on, team leaders, you got to get that stuff straight, man. you got to slap yourself, wake yourself up, splash some water on your face, and get your stuff situated, man. All right, uh, Limeik, are you having any luck there? 
Uh, the information has been set out, sent out. You should be coming over soon. I appreciate that, buddy. Um, again, I'm frozen. So send all your shout outs to Corn Nut. Corn with one N, nut, single N. So Angry Picard, I know your spelling is bad because you're French, but that's okay. We still love you. Just uh, remember, it's Corn Nut with one N. We love you. Angry Picard for president. All right, well, we're going to get ready for uh, some TGL next weekend, guys. Uh, we have 8v8s on Monday and 6v6s on Tuesday, just like normal. Also, just again, we're going to be covering some BF2. And it looks like our Man has just came in. So go ahead, Corner, take that over really quick here. See, I. Oh, Anger's not here, so this uh, won't really help, but I'll say it without him. Hulk Smash from Raw is telling us to give Anger some steroids so we can hear him roid, roid rage over E Rev. Wow, looks like I'm the one that needs to learn how to read. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Um, well, I guess we never left. Uh, anyway, we have our Iron Man of the Match here from KTB. Uh, we have Better there, the Commander. What's up, Better? Uh, not too much. How about you? Not a whole lot. No, just watching a very dominating performance there, Better. Nice job there, Commanding. Uh, we, we rarely give the uh, Iron Man to the Commander, but, I mean, uh, Cornet and I were just, I mean, you were just awestruck there, how you had your team set up. Nice defensive perimeter, especially in that towards the end of that first round. Uh, what was your guys' outlook coming into this match? Uh, How did you guys scrim this strat-wise? You know, it's really funny and terrible at the same time that I do not really get too in-depth with the strategizing, if you will. I generally just go in and I let them know what I want, you know, let them know when I'm going to be able to take something out and then they tell me what they want to do. And Generally, we just get a first push, and once we've got that down, we kind of, we almost put it. It's pretty bad, but we, we get it done. All right. Well, now you're going to be heading off into the finals. I mean, you did, you just won the TWO uh, Season 2 Finals or 8v8. Uh, you guys are just a, a train that's out of control right now. You're just doing a nice job bringing that momentum into uh, Cal now. Uh, you look forward to next week against, I believe, Rubik's, but I might be wrong. I'm not sure if they played yet, so if anybody can give me that score. But nevertheless, against Origin or Rubik's, uh, how do you guys look looking at that? Um, I really don't. I, you know, I'm the wrong person to bring in here because I do not pay attention as well as somebody like Destructo or uh, Drabowski or Biggins, for that matter, when it comes to teams. They pretty much let me know, you know, what I need to do. <laughs> so. Yeah, no problem, no problem. Um, Cornet, do you have any questions, Lymic, or any comments? Well, you know, I'm a fellow commander here, and, you know, I like to actually see a commander in here getting Iron Man, whether you're paying attention or not, you know. <laughs> I mean, the commander, the, the commander is like the one person, I mean, a good commander doesn't have to scrim. They don't have to practice. I mean, all they have to do is spot. I mean, spot, UAV, and, you know, as long as they can shoot well, you know, defend that one flag that they're on. I mean, and that's all you really have to do. But, you know, my team always like, come on, scrim with us, scrim with us. But doesn't it get boring better? Um, yes and no. I, I, every once in a while, I'll, I'll do something retarded like demo pack Drewbowski or something just to hear him scream at me. And, you know, that lightens my day up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I never did that. I just complain. But, oh, man, just, you know, just spot, 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 you know, four scrims a day, you know, two or three matches a week, and that's all you ever do, man, it gets old. You need to show those commanders some love. You really do. Yeah, and they got the worst job. You, you know, uh, I mean, no, go ahead. I learned how to do it from looking at porn, so what can I say? <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, I thought you were going to say you're... One, one. <laughs> I thought you were going to say your accuracy got better because of that, you know, with your movements, but... 
Yeah, we don't well, know yeah. what you do with barn animals better, okay? okay just, we'll leave that, we'll leave that <laughs> undercover. <laughs> well, it is easy to command with just one hand. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe for you, Limek. <laughs> and Angry Picard's three thumbs. <laughs> All right, man. We're, uh, if you have any last-minute comments, uh, Limek Cornet, anything for the Iron Man? No, just good job tonight. I mean, you, I thought Massive Unit was actually going to take it. Did you guys think uh, you were going to win this coming in, or did you think it was going to be a really good – I mean, did you think that you were going to be able to take it in two – with the chance that you'd win? I mean, I figured, worst case scenario, it was going to go three and Massive Unit was going to take it. Boy, was I wrong. What did you think? Um, to tell you the truth, I was siding with Zerdowski on this one. He says, you know, you guys, we need to do something about this. You know, we haven't been practicing. We, we, we weren't ready for what we thought, but, you know, we came out on top. I, I think that a little bit of luck played in with, with everything that went down, but it, I, I personally thought that we were going to lose at least one round. But I, I didn't think we'd win it like that, not at all. Yeah, one of the things I noticed too, and, and I was telling Corna, was that your movement from flag to flag was pretty smooth overall. I mean, you guys, when you guys defended, especially let's take, for instance, the first round where you guys went back and defended the main and then pushed on over to... Oh, God, I can't, I'm lost my train of thought here. But you moved to another flag, and you guys were moving fluently. And then you guys are, in the same time, you know, defending each front that you were pushing. I mean, it was nice movement, and I was very impressed by that. And you guys are going to have to do the same thing and maybe take it up another level against either Rubik's or Origin. So, you know, good, I mean, big props to you guys. You guys look like, you know, a good team and a very good team. So, you know, good job. Well, thank you very much. I mean, I, you, you got to hand it to them. I mean, I'm not really one of the guns. These guys are just some of the most amazing people that I've, you know, had the pleasure of playing with. So, Right on. All right, uh, before we let you go better, do you have any shout-outs to any sponsors or to your peeps out there in Cyberworld and maybe any big porn sites? I'm just kidding. You don't have to say that. Well, now that you – no. No, I don't really have anything to say. Um, so thank you very much for having me up. Yep, no problem. You're not going to say shout out to your whole team for the win tonight at KTB, or at least say. I could do said. that, but they might get an ego, or you know, we can't have them doing that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Well, on that note, we'll say good night, and again, uh, just make sure you join us uh, each and every night uh, that we do cast on Mondays and Tuesdays, and uh, Thursdays we'll have the finals next week. Uh, and we'll have matches for TGL also next week. So uh, make sure you tune in. I mean, this is where it's all at for 2142. And not just us, but you can also catch other um, things like Source and uh, Call of Duty and uh, Unreal Tournament 2004. I mean, we have all kinds of games going on here and, and uh, World in Conflict. So make sure you stay here and tune in to EVREV. This is where it's all at, ladies and gents. So until next time, uh, my, this is Anger, Cornut, and Limex saying good night. Peace.